Oh. Emperor Lusko. Yeah. Do you think that Christmas is Christian is, is a Christian holiday? Uh, starting around this time of year, I often get told that it's not. This is usually a response to me saying that I don't celebrate Christmas, Christmas because I don't believe in Jesus. It's definitely Christian because if people say it's not Christian because it has pagan roots, uh, then Chris, then Christianity is not Christian. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing is Christian. <laughs> Nothing is Christian. Because yeah. Nothing, Nothing is, is any Christian. religion. It's all yeah. freaking, yeah, yeah. Everything comes from things that came before yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I think the way it's practiced a lot of times, especially in the United States um, these days, the vast majority of the religious aspect is is gone um not completely of course and yeah obviously like it's literally in the name right it's like you just you just cut off the last three letters of either of those words christmas christian and you're like oh my gosh christ like <laughs> yeah yeah it, it, so it definitely is christian but yes it's kind of like I... halloween like halloween isn't exactly like pagan or witchcraft really it's just more of these you know uh, secular rituals and stuff that we do to gather and hang out yeah um however even though i do believe it's christian i don't think there's a, that's a good reason not to celebrate it mm -hmm. it's it is christian but it's been secularized right. okay secularization um is something that i very much like about uh, religious rituals i don't like reform Right, I, I do like secularization. I have came up with these two. I have se separated these different movements. I call one of them secularization, and I call one of them reform. Right, reforming religion is when you keep the fundamental beliefs, but try to change uh, some interpretations or certain practices about that religion. Right, um, for example, reforming Christianity or reforming Islam, and I think that's a harmful practice because. The main problem with religion is its core beliefs. It's the methodology in which it comes to conclusions. It's a faith aspect. It's a revelation aspect. Uh, the if you keep maintain that um, rotted root, even if you keep cutting the edges, like what grows out of it, it it's still corrupted and other um, problematic things will keep growing out of that pro bad methodology, right? So mm -hmm. that's why I'm always against reforming religion. However, I am very much in favor of secularizing religion because mm -hmm. secularization of religion uh, is the exact opposite of reform. Um, it actually keeps some of the things on the sides and it removes the core, removes the core belief. Mm -hmm. So it removes secularization of religious practices or rituals is when you remove the belief um, but maintain some of the practices and traditions and because the belief is not there anymore the it you don't have any justification for things that are a part of the practice that might be costly um, like suicide bombing or anything else like child beating when it comes to christianity right yeah. um because you you don't have any way to justify it you don't have the belief so the only things that you could keep from the tradition are things that have cultural value to you mm -hmm. or have some nostalgic value to you community building community building value mm -hmm. to you or just should are just fun you know mm -hmm. there's just mm -hmm. like um, or has some artistic value to you uh, or historic value to you. So you could keep that part of the religion. Um, and the, the problem we have with religion is not these harmless traditions. The problem that we have with religion is the problematic beliefs, right? So there's no reason for you not to engage in the fun traditions as long as you don't have the belief. Like, why, mm -hmm. why shouldn't you? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like doing... Uh, playing Dungeons and Dragons, you don't believe mm. in this stuff. Like you're having fun with it. It's kind of like enjoying Harry Potter. Like you don't believe in it. You can still have fun with it, even though you don't believe in it, right? right. So I think Christmas has been very much secularized in many most places, and that's why it makes it a harmless, fun activity, even though it's based yeah. on harmless, uh, based on harmful beliefs. You have gutted out that harmful element of it, and now it's secularized enough. And in fact. In fact, secularization of religious tradition helps with fighting religion, right? Because a lot of people who don't leave religion is because of the emotional attachment they have mm -hmm. 
with the not so harmful parts of religion, right? Mm -hmm. so, so, for example, imagine if somebody wants to leave Islam, they're not one thing that might be keeping them in is not that they be, they want to believe in Allah or Muhammad or the Quran. It's just that it's, that's their community. Mm -hmm. They enjoy the traditions. They have some nostalgic elements with their childhood, with their family. Um, it's part of their identity. And so it's not really about the beliefs. It's about those emotional aspects of religion. So the process of secularization lets them say, like, you know what? You could keep all of that. And I love like you could all of those things that you enjoy about your religion, you, you could get rid of the belief and you could keep all of that. So it makes it easier to get rid of the belief, because if you tell people the only way to get rid of the belief is to also get rid of the identity, the community, the attachments, mm -hmm. the traditions, then you're like, OK, then I need to keep Allah and Muhammad, I believe in the Quran. But if you make it easy for them, like you could get rid of Muhammad, you could get rid of belief in Allah, you could get rid of belief in the Quran and still go to an aid festival mm -hmm. um, and enjoy all that. Or like, okay, you just reduce the barriers and now you're going to get encouraged more people to leave the religion, right? If you tell some a Christian that to leave Christianity, they have to stop celebrating Christmas, then you're going to make it less likely for them to leave Christianity, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. secularization makes the process a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I would I would love to go to a Diwali f festival. I'm not I'm not Hindu, but it just looks yes. like a really fun time. Like you can take part in the cool stuff and get rid of the crap. Yeah, exactly, exactly. There's you know, um, I might even I think I think I think a lot of religious traditions are fun. I have mm -hmm. no problem with religious, not tra rituals. I have no problem with re religious rituals, except a virgin sacrifice, throwing them down in a volcano. That's problematic. Yeah. But most, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but most religious rituals, I have no problem with them. It's the belief system that I have a problem with. <laughs> Thank goodness, though, Armin, that you said that. Like, I think most of us here were like, you know, I, I bet you Armin's participating in some of these virgin sacrifices. Sacrifices. <laughs> Uh, okay. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.